welcome back to my channel. If you can't already tell by the title, this is an announcement video for a readathon that I'm going to be hosting in March. I'm extremely excited. I've never hosted a readathon before, and I think this is the perfect one for me to host. Um, this readathon is called Sequel A Thon. It was created by Sarah and Rebecca over at the T Hags here on BookTube. And, um, you know, I met these ladies during Booknet Fest last year, and I adore them along with all of my other lovely co-hosts. Let's get into the details of the readathon. So, like I said, the readathon is called the Sequel-a-thon, and the whole premise of this readathon is to continue on with series or to finish series. And if you're anything like me or many of my other lovely co-hosts, then this is perfect because you pick up one book and then you never continue and or you never finish a series and I do this all of the time. I just finished the Harry Potter series in 2017 um, after reading the first three books multiple times. So I mean and it's Harry Potter you know like I was enjoying those books I just never continued and so I have plenty of of uh, options for this readathon and I'm really really excited. So this readathon takes place March 21st through March 31st. It is 10 days which I think is perfect amount of time for a readathon. It's not too short but yet not too long because I think sometimes two weeks can be a little much but a week is not enough. At least for me I'm a really slow reader. There I am a co-host um, Rebecca and Sarah the Tea Hags. They created this readathon and I want to just send out a huge thank you to them for offering me the opportunity to be a part of this. I think it's so great and um, I'm just I'm very excited to do this. Um, we also have Kathy from Kathy Tryhart here on booktube. She is the readathon queen. If you guys aren't following her, you need to. She hosts readathons all of the time. She participates in readathons all of the time and she is just readathon goals for me because she's amazing. That's it. I, I mean all of these humans are amazing and I think you should check out each and every one of them. Everything will be d linked down below in the down bar so make sure you do that. Um, we also have Samantha Leanne from Leanne's Lit. We have Brandy from Brandy Reads. And we have Zoe from You're a Book Nerd Zoe. Um, like I said, all lovely humans. They all produce different content. And, you know, there's a little something for everybody at each of their channels. So, check them out. Rebecca and Sarah wanted to keep this readathon just simple and to the point and I think they did that very well. There are only three challenges so let's just talk about those really quick. The first challenge is to read a sequel that you've been putting off the longest and I have plenty, plenty of them. Like books that I probably read like three years ago. Like off the top of my head I can think of uh, the Throne of Glass series. I've only read up to book three and I just finished the third book last year and I don't even remember what happened. <laughs> So I probably need to start that one all over. The second challenge is to continue on with the series that you started last year. And then the third and final challenge is to finish a series. Those are very simple, straightforward, and I think everybody should be successful. I mean, the whole point of a readathon is to read as many books as possible in the allotted time. And I think these challenges just make it that much easier. You're not like stressing about... Am I going to complete all the challenges or what books can I read for this? It's very open-ended really so you can pick anything. Uh, you're not trying to find something with you know a certain word in the title or whatever and th those readathons are great and fun and I love them. I love all readathons but I just like how this one is very simplistic and very open. Another thing that is so great about this readathon is it's a sequel-a-thon and a lot of times like I said I have to reread something before I can continue because it's been so long but lucky for me and for you the rereadathon takes place the week before ours so go on over there, participate in the rereadathon, get ready for the sequel-a-thon, and then when you get back here, then you just can continue on. Win-win. Um, there is a bonus challenge, and that is to name your TBR something fun. Uh, the example here is the Reckoning Part Do. So, um, yeah, you can just name it something fun, obviously. Rebecca has a great, Rebecca and Sarah have a great sense of humor and the theme of this readathon is Bruce Willis and Die Hard and so she created, um, Rebecca created this, um, this image of Bruce Willis from Die Hard and it says starring you and the tagline says read hard with a vengeance and it's great, I love it, but confession and don't kill me, I've never seen any of the Die Hard movies ever, uh, so I don't know what that says about me. But I do know about them. They are cult classics. I just have never 
never seen them. So maybe I'll have to I'll have to change that. And I know some of you guys are like dying right now because I just said that, but you know, there's many classics that I haven't seen. My husband and I have this conversation all the time and he's always shocked at the things that I haven't seen. I think last year for the first time I, we watched Waterworld with Kevin Costner. And it's like one of his favorite movies as a kid and I had never seen it. So, you know, <laughs> apparently I was very sheltered as a child. Um, yeah, so that's it for me. I think I mentioned this before, but there is a Twitter and that is at sequelathon. So make sure you go follow the Twitter, follow everybody down in the down bar. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I hope that all of you participate and I can't wait to see all of your TBRs. Um, I'll have a TBR and the rest of my house will have a TBR going up somewhere in the beginning of March. So look out for those. And yeah, I just hope to uh, see you and sprint with you and just let's just have a great time. Okay. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Goodreads Twitter and Instagram and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.